Hello, good morning once again, my dear students. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. Now, today we have here about cube roots. Finding the cube root of an integer. So, last time we have all about the square roots and uh, we have different like expressions. And the same with this for cube roots. So, first we have here about the uh, finding the cube root of an integer. First, we have here our first example, letter A. Uh, these are uh, this is taken from your uh, workbook. We have the cube root of 40. Okay, so 40 is an integer. Now, how to uh, get the or find the cube root for this? So the same thing that we're going to do. If in square root we need to have uh, the exponent of two, so that it will be cancelled out or it will be extracted out. Now for this time, this is cube root, we need to have power 3, okay? So we're going to find any factor that can make into power 3. So we start for 40, we can have what? What are the factors of 40? We have 8 and 5. Now you will see that 8 can be written as 2 power 3, right? Yes, so we can use that. First we have this one. So 40 is 8 times 5, and we're going to replace this 8 to 2 power 3, right? 2 power 3, because you will see our index here is 3 already. It's cubed, or 3. So we have 2 power 3, okay? Now, since that this 2 power 3, so we can extract this out, okay? But for 5, it will stay inside the radical because it doesn't have power 3 okay so we have there 2 is outside already and we have the cube root of 5 so therefore the cube root of 40 is 2 times the cube root of 5 easy short solution now we go to our second example we have there the cube root of 64 now the cube root 64, for 64, we can have 8 times 8, right, as factors, or we can have 16 times 4 also, 16 times 4 is also 64. Now for 16, we can have what? We can have uh, 4 times 4, right, 4 times, so that's only 4 power 2, 4 power 2 is 16. If we're going to add one more 4, it will be 4 power 3, right? So this one, 16 is 4 times 4, then times 4 is 64. And we can write that as 4 power 3, like this. So we can extract this out of the radical sign because we have already power 3. So therefore, the cube root of 64 is 4. Easy. Search solution. Next ex uh, example. We have uh, a question letter E of your text of your workbook. Now we have here the cube root of negative 56. Okay. Negative 56. Now negative is not the same with the square root. Okay. For negative, uh, for cube root and square root and having negative in cube root and having negative in and square root they are not the same because having negative for for square uh, for square root no answer but for cube root yes we have now we have here uh, for 56 again we can have 8 and 7 okay 8 and 7 is 56 so we can write um uh, one number would be negative and the other one is positive so we say negative 8 times 7 okay now 8 can be written as 2 power 3 and 2 power negative 2 power 3 will give you negative 8 this one okay negative 2 power 3 okay negative 2 power 3 times 7 is negative 56 now we have so we can extract this out okay Let's extract this out. We have 
there, negative 2, and 7 will be left inside. Okay? So therefore, the cube root of negative 56 is negative 2 times the cube root of 7. Remember that for cube roots, if you have negative uh, uh, cube root, still you can find the answer. But for square root, you can't find the answer. There is no answer for that. Now we have here our example again. This will be our last example for this. We have the negative cube root of 189. 189 is the factors that we can have is uh, 27 times 7, right? 27 times 7. For 27, we can have 3 power 3. So we have 27 times 27. And for 27, we can have 3 power 3. Okay. So we need to say that 7 will stay inside. And 3 will be extracted out. And we have here negative that is waiting outside. So therefore, we can have negative 3 times the cube root of 7. Simple, right? Thank you. Now we have here the next one. Simplifying expression. So we have here already the, uh, the number, the integer, plus the uh, an, uh, unknown or variable. So like, we're going to simplify this expression. We have the cube root of 108 times x power 3. Now, we're going to find out again factor for 108, that is 27 times 4. 27 times 4 is 108. Then for x power 3, it's still the same, x power 3. So we have here 27 times 4 is 108. Now again, we have here 27. 27 can be written as 3 power 3, but 4, we can't. Because this is only 2 power 2. So meaning to say, it will stay inside. So we can change now 27 as 3 power 3 times 4 times x power 3. So this one, 3 power 3 will be out and x power 3 will be out. Or 3 will be out and x will be out. So we have 3x. 3 times x times the cube root of 4. So therefore, the cube root of 108 times x power 3 is 3x times the cube root of 4. Question. It's easy, right? Okay. We go to the next. We have here uh, the cube root of negative 320 x power 3. Now for 320, we have 64 times 5. So that's one factor that we can have. For 320. So for three, uh, for 64, we have here. 2 power 3 is 8. Okay. 2 power 3 is 8 again. So uh, negative 2 power 3 times 2 power 3 is negative 64 times 5. That is negative 320. And times x power 3. Okay. So for this one, we, uh, this will out. Extra it out and x power 3 will be out. Only 5 will remain inside. So we have there negative 2, 2, and x, and the cube root of 5. So if we combine together, we have negative 4x, then uh, the cube root of 5. As simple as that. Okay, now we have here another one. We have here a uh, simplifying expression again. Let us see cube root of negative 135 times a power 8. So for 135, we can have 27 times 5. Okay, 27 times 5. We have again 27. So for 27, we can have 3 power 3. So we have here negative 27. Then times 5 times a power 8. So we can write negative 27 as negative 3 power 3 times 5. Now for a power 8, you can have uh, a power 3, a power 3, and a power 2. So we need only the power 3. So this, this one, and this one will be extracted out. Okay? And 5 and a2 will remain inside the radical. So we have, we have here th minus 3, 
Then a and a is a power 2 because we multiply a power 2 times the cube root of 5 times a power 2. Okay? So that's the answer for uh, the cube root of negative 135 a power 8 or that is negative 3 a powers powers uh, a power 2 times the cube root of 5 a power 2. And we have here our last example d that is the cube root of 81 times x power 7. So for 81 it's simple we can have 9 times 9 right so we have there uh, What is, okay, wait, wait. Okay, so we have here again. So 3 power 3 is 27 times 3 is 81. Then for x power 7, we have x power 2 raised to the power 3, which is 6. Then times 1, that makes x, x power 7. So again, what are the uh, terms here that will be out? We have here this one, 3 power 3. 3 will be out x power 2 will be out and this one 3 and x will remain inside the radical sign so therefore we have 3 will be out x power 2 will be out and we have 3x will stay inside so therefore the final answer will be oh where's the power x here okay so we have here again 3 times x power 2 is 3x power 2, then times the cube root of 3x. So therefore, the cube root of 81x power 7 is equal to 3x power 2 times the cube root of 3x. Okay, so again, um, if, you, if you have any question, you can uh, comment below. And um, we're going to have more videos about cube roots in the next time. Okay, thank you and bye-bye.